All right, this is just a supplemental video on ray diagrams. I think I'll post the, uh, the address for this. You might be able to see it up there. It's in the physicsclassroom.com. And this one is in mirrors and optics. I think you'll see it there. I like this one because you can move things around. But again, remember for ray diagrams, the first ray always goes to the center. Sorry, to the mirror, then through the focal. So here we go, let's draw ray one. Notice, to the mirror and through the focal point. Now you might go, well, what's this 2F out here? That's just, if this is F, it's twice that distance is all. Don't worry about it. Always to the mirror and through F. Not 2F, through F. Do you remember the second ray? It goes into the center and out of the center at the same angle. Look how close these angles are to each other here. Beautifully done. So um, where those two rays meet is where the image will appear. So let's put the first ray back on there and you notice Boom, they join right there. Since they came from the tip of the arrow, that'll be the tip of the arrow. Now we can move, I like this because we can actually move the uh, focal point around. And you notice as we come out here, it changes. Let's see why. Again, the first ray is to the mirror and through the focal. Let's represent that. There it is, to the mirror, through the focal. The second ray goes into the center and out of the center at the same angle. And where these two touch, notice now they're touching way out here. So if you have something in this location, between F and 2F, you end up with a large version of what that object is. It gets enlarged here, okay? Unfortunately, this one, I don't think will draw it if the arrow is within F. It does try to do it, but it's saying, oh, we just can't get the image on here. It's gonna be way over here because these rays are diverging here. It'll converge back here, so. Anyway, that's a little computer graphic to show you how to do ray diagrams too.